Okay, this next problem is pretty cool. So a three inch thick slice is cut off the top of the cube, resulting in a rectangular box that has the uh, volume of 47 cubic inches. So they want us to use the graphing calculator to find the side length of the original cube. Um, so kind of neat. Um, can help to start by trying to visualize it. So we have a cube and uh, We'll give the drawing here, but here's our cube. Um, and the cube, let's say it has a side length X. So remember that a cube is kind of like a square in that um, all of the sides have the same exact length. It just has more sides. Um, so remember the volume of a cube is just gonna be X cubed, okay? But we're taking a three inch thick slice off the top of the cube, okay? So let's say this here is our three inches. We're gonna just slice that off, okay? Um, so what are the new dimensions? So this is X, okay? This is still X as well, okay? But the height is now X minus three, okay? So the volume, the new volume, as a function of X, is gonna be X, times x times x minus three, okay? Or x squared times x minus three, okay? So this is the equation that we wanna plug into the calculator. So, do x squared times x minus three. Now there's a few different ways to solve this. Um, so let's first take a look at, look at the graph, okay? So this graph is showing us the different possibilities, okay? Um, let's, uh, let's zoom out a little bit, okay? Because they tell us that the volume of this new box, okay, is 47 cubic inches, okay, so about there, okay? So, you can graph a straight line, 47, okay? And there we can see the intersection point, so we can click on this button, intersect, okay? And we move it around Move it around. We find the intersection. Okay, and it tells us that when x equals 4.93, about y equals 47 on both graphs. Okay, so we put 4.93. Okay, um, we can double check that if we want. Okay, so. x equals 4.93 inches, okay? And what we can do, take our calculator, okay, and we can do 4.93 squared times 4.93 minus three, and we get just about 47 cubic inches, okay? So, that's what we're looking for cube with a side length of about 4.93, just about five inches. And there we 